The way that Oregon funds K through 12 schools could get more money after a special session in the state legislature, but that's if lawmakers approve cuts in spending for the state retirement plan or PERS and also agree to increase some taxes. Now, Governor Kitzhaber is the one who called for this special session after brokering a deal to reform the state retirement system. But it's important to remember this is not a done deal yet. Lisa Balick live at the state capitol tonight with more on today's debate. Lisa? It's funny you say debate because they haven't even gone to that yet. They're just about to start public testimony here after spending all day at the Capitol. The biggest problem is they have too many things to consider. How frustrating and crummy it is. That's how many state workers feel about the idea to make cuts to the public employee retirement system as part of a plan to find $200 million for education, seniors, and mental health. And they're just trying to borrow, borrow from our money to pay for several hundred teachers, which is a good thing, but not, not a, a, at our expense. Clearly, lawmakers are struggling with too many pieces in the funding puzzle. Besides finding close to $5 billion in PERS savings, they're trying to raise some corporate taxes lower others, and raise the cigarette tax 10 cents a pack. And if that's not enough, part of the deal is a bill to prevent almost all counties from banning genetically modified crops. That idea is to get some lawmakers on board with the tax hikes. It's no wonder a plan to find more money for schools is not a sure thing. Lawmakers are struggling to get an agreement. So we have three of the bills. If K-12 through schools do get $100 million of the money, it will go into the state school fund. We asked why it's not just dedicated to lowering class sizes. It turns out that's not everyone's problem across the state. In some of our other districts, for instance, furlough days. Some districts have responded by cutting days, and their class sizes aren't their issue, it's their number of days. Oregon has that issue as well. For others, it's programs, career technical education. It would be up to local school boards to decide where to spend the money. About $4 million a year for Portland in each of the next two years. Now, there's no question this session will go into tomorrow. We hear right now that they'll only go into early evening and then come back again tomorrow. Again, a lot of pieces of the puzzle they're trying to fit together. If you got a little confused, so are some of the lawmakers. Live in Salem, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Hope it's a good sign. The sun's shining on Lisa down there in Salem. Maybe that's a good sign for lawmakers. Stay with us for the very latest on the special session. We'll keep you informed on whatever state lawmakers decide. Look for updates online always on Coin.com.